Okay, we back. Oh yeah, I should also update the title, but yes. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna head to Zelda World. There's a handful of things we can now do. Zelda. Fuck off! I'm trying to. I'm trying try to, to drink. drink corn syrup. Damn it! Ah. Oh, still pick me up. <laughs> Even though I got knocked around to move. Um. Go ahead to one. Does that put us on the mountain? It does. Uh, never mind. Uh, pass me the controller, and then you talk about uh, uh, Starship Trooper. <laughs> I got hit. We'll go ahead. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, so on Netflix right now, there's a Starship Troopers movie mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, 3D animated. Mm -hmm. With most, with, with some of the original cast okay. from the movie. Uh, it's very much a continuation of the movie, the, not the book. book. Yeah. Uh, Rico apparently did a boo boo and now is kind of just a not kind of a drill drill instructor for the kids of Mars. They, they, Mars has been colonized, mm -hmm. um, and the Federation, the propaganda for the Federation right now is their glorious leader is the smartest woman ever born. Um, like, has the highest IQ, and she's so glorious and great. Uh, uh -huh. Surprisingly enough, none of that is SJW bullshit. Okay. Uh, it does go a little... It does tr kinda lean into, like, there's racism. Okay. Uh stuff which is like it's whatever uh it's the 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 mars people want their independence mm -hmm. oh so, so it's gundam yeah <laughs> it's exactly gundam um uh so well animated mm -hmm. uh they have marine suits they, they you know you know at the end of uh Starship Troopers were like, we have better technology. Yeah. And all their technology was guys in better armor and then, like, a shoulder-mounted cannon. Yeah. Yeah, they have that. They have that. Yeah. They have that, and it's actually kind of cool. Um, <laughs> and it, it's very anime, despite the fact that, like, it, it's uh, Casper Van Dien is mm -hmm. Rico. Dizzy's back. Okay. If you don't remember, Dizzy's dead. Yeah. Uh, Dizzy, Dizzy's Wait, back in this. Same character? Same character. Okay. It, 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 it's well explained. It's, it's, it's not bad. Uh, she, it's not her. Mm. Um, it is, it, it's, it's, uh... Like a clone or something? It's, it's, uh... Oh, I can't remember the guy. Was it Carl? Carl is the, uh... Uh... Psychic? Uh, of their friends? Yeah, I don't remember his name. Okay, so, so they're... Like Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah, N <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris. Uh, it, it, but Neil Patrick Harris is in the voice right now. Because yep. oh. he's gotten too big. Yes. Casper Van Dien has not. <laughs> uh, the Dizzy Girl has not. Yes. Um, what about Gary Busey's son? <laughs> uh, he's not in it. Oh, he doesn't have his clear plastic neon violin? No. <laughs> Oh, I love that part. The, the electric violin. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the super fascists let people have music and mm -hmm. are all about people. And debauch sex and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. You go ahead and have sex with your subordinate, Rico. Because mm -hmm. we're all about fascism here. Because <laughs> that's fascism. That's my kind of fascism. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You fucking give me a girl like this. Yeah, I'm fucking. Yeah, I'll go that way. Asshole. Uh. But it's very. It's so anime. Mm -hmm. All of the it's, Martians are just like caricatures. 
Like, I'm this smart, nerdy guy, yet I'm the lieutenant, but I'm a coward. It's like, how the fuck did this guy get promoted to lieutenant of their squad? They keep going through sim training. Mm -hmm. um, there, okay, so there is a portal here. Oh. So that way we can get back to the same area. Okay. That way you can't soft lock yourself like we were worried about. Okay, cool. Um, are you going to do the thing where you have to carry it? Oh, yeah, we could do that. Oh no, we can't because we have to we have to get the mallet. Right. Oh, shit. Um. So. Oh, the giant catfish up there. Should I go through full synopsis of it? Uh, sure, as long as we're saying, hey, spoilers yes, for. Yes, complete spoilers. Here's here's the here's the synopsis. Then I'll tell you more of my thoughts because uh, yeah. this is too abstract right now. I'm not I'm not getting to any good point. Mm -hmm. Um. Johnny Rico has. Uh, Big penis. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Omi. Um, <laughs> uh, he's yeah, he's fucked up on some mission, so he's now in charge of uh, like these shitty cadets that are all Martians. Um, there's a strong Martians want inter independence, and the Federation doesn't want to give it to them. Mm -hmm. uh, it finds they they find out that bugs are actually on Mars, so the Federation plans to blow up Mars. Uh, okay. Neil Patrick Harris it has is trying to communicate with uh, Carmen. Uh, Wolf mm -hmm. uh, and basically like through yeah being being a, being a psychic, he can just communicate with her. Tells yes. her like, oh, you need to get into Johnny and tell him to. Uh, do this stuff. She's like, contact him yourself. She's like, he's too thick-headed. It's like, <laughs> he's, he's like, I can't do psychic stuff with him. He's too thick-headed. Um, so the bugs actually attack, and, uh... Oh, what? I didn't realize it happened that quick. Ooh! That's an actual thing for Metroid. I don't know what it is, but... That might be regular bombs. I don't... Maybe? Uh... It's this one, which is... Bombs! Yes! Regular-ass bombs! Finally! Can we get more? Yeah, I think it's just the one item. That's fine. We got regular-ass bombs. Yeah. Uh... So... Carmen's come going to Mars to uh, talk to Johnny. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris is uh, grabbed by the secret police of the Federation and is imprisoned uh, because he's he's doing some bad stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, Johnny's now fighting with the shit squad that he's been training that is just garbage. Like, they've died on the most basic of training every time. Mm -hmm. uh, so... It's a... Okay, continue with just synopsis. <laughs> just synopsis, because there's... Uh, Controls. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Um. Uh, Johnny's squad gets kind of tweaked. Uh, the bugs kind of wreck everything. Johnny saves them at the last minute, and as they're using jump jets to get into a uh, rescue thing, he falls down and. Uh, Wakes up and Dizzy's there. So he thinks he's dead. Oh. Oh. That's a transport to. Okay. Uh... We've not been anywhere in here. No, because we need the gravity suit. But we might be able to get some items without it.
Um, yeah. uh, we can't build enough enough speed without the gravity suit. Oh fuck you! Yay, with your little tangly bits. Land on them? Sort of. Can you jump up? And then roll under? Yeah. I can do that. Yeah. Because this, now you can roll. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Oh, okay. You also have regular bombs now to boost yeah. yourself Oh, up. God! I forgot this Metroid's here. Luckily, we have Freeze Beam. Yeah. Um, so he wakes up, Dizzy's there, and she's kind of saying, like, oh, you need to do something. And he's like, am I dead? She's like, you're not dead. It's like, but you're dead, so how are you here? She's like, you're not dead. Um, and it keeps cutting back. Uh, basically, it's Neil Patrick Harris finally able to communicate with him. And the way that he's able to communicate with him is through an image of Dizzy because okay. while Neil Patrick Harris is knocked out from uh, getting fucked with the uh, by the secret police guys of the Federation um, what are you doing? Um, let's see it looks like there's an item there stand right back here So yeah. Oh. oh. Okay, don't fall down there. <laughs> yeah, that looks like a soft block. Yay. <laughs> no gooeys. Damn it. Yeah. I'm still not used to the controls. Yeah, the controls are garbage right now. Um, so yeah, it, it, it just turns out that uh, he's, while unconscious, thinking yeah. about high school, and by thinking about high school, he's able to communicate with Johnny. Yeah. And Johnny sees Dizzy instead. Yeah. Um, which, oh, that's kind of cute. Yeah. Because... Uh, and he actually mentioned stuff like, yeah, I fucked up by not, uh, like, trying to be with you for more time. This is um, a mini-boss that we can't fight. We can't fight at all? Like, when you kill him, this wall is supposed to blow open. Oh, we're just on the wrong side. Yes. Can you damage him? The missiles all hit the wall. Oh, but you can do that. Fuck you. When he shoots, can you shoot inside his mouth? Is that the thing? I don't think so. I think maybe the tail? I can't remember. Um. But yeah, so that's th that's that. Uh, the Federation, it turns out that the, the whole... I'm the smartest woman alive. She's j trying to get, uh, like, a poll thing going. So she's just trying to be popular. Mm. She's trying to be the most popular uh, vice admiral or whatever the the chancellor or whatever the fuck it's called for them. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't doing anything. Yeah, whatever. Uh... So, yeah, nothing. Mm -hmm. um, so, Johnny fights off a bunch of bugs. They show the suits being all cool. Um, yeah. Carmen 
in the sh in a, the ship above is being told to uh, leave, she pulls her hotshot pilot maneuvers and uh, <laughs> makes sure that the, her entire giant ship doesn't die. Um, Super Mario. <laughs> um, especially when the mask started getting after you. Yeah, well, I gotta uh, pick up the key first. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Um, now, when is that randomizer coming out? <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were very hurt. Oh, wow, I didn't realize how bad I was hurt. Okay, maybe you do maybe for me. Um, the ragtag group of uh, the shit squad. The, yeah, the, the the Martian squad uh, actually goes back after him, and they're they're kind of portrayed as uh, yokels, mm. but then like it also also for some reason just Japanese stereotypes, like. Because anime? Because anime. <laughs> anime. And it but even though it's all 3D uh animation. Um I, I uh Full health now too. Yes, but I can't like get a jump going. Can you freeze them and jump on them? Fire once. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay. Good enough. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Uh. Oh yeah, so so her popularity thing is she's tired of all the uh, Martians saying they want independence. So she actually th they planted the bugs on Mars. Okay. Uh, which uh, th there's a lot of there's there, there's a lot of a uh, cool little bits where uh, Neil Patrick Harris keeps uh, kind of doing callbacks to. Uh, Uh, to the original movie and saying stuff like uh, oh I, I, I need to know my enemies mm -hmm. and but he's th like oh yeah that's in reference to the bugs originally and he keeps using it against her like the, the, the leader of the federation yeah and it's just do you need to bring that? no what the fuck just happened? you fell oh, I fell too far um, and so, it, yeah, it's, it's not, it's not terribly written in, in the parts with him, because he's a cheeky little asshole. Yes. Uh. Come on, I see you in the position. <laughs> that was weird <laughs> I, I don't know why. I know it's this fucking gem up there. Uh -huh. It's not worth getting, so, yeah. Yeah, you can. I don't There's enough space for you to actually get on there. Oh, it's fucking five arrows. <laughs> okay. So, then you can just fall. Yes. Just fall. Goodbye, cruel world. Please fall. There's the fall point. I hope there is one. Otherwise, it's save and quit. Yeah. Um. Oh god, not these things. Especially. Oh no. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> don't go in the center. That thing pushes you down more, doesn't it? Uh, I think you're right, actually. Get some height. 
Hmm. You feel like saving the planet. Yeah, I think there's, yeah, that's the only, not to mention, no fucking items in this area and the things we found suck. Yep. And we, we yeah, we can't get to the others. Um, so, yeah, the, the Chancellor is going to blow up Mars uh, now that there are bugs there. That's her excuse. How do you save the planet? Oh, you can't. Oh, that's right, because you can't save. You save at the save thing. Yeah. Uh, there's no way to get just out to the menu. Okay. Uh, do you, 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 screen disappear. Go. <laughs> oh, my. What could be happening? Just got to hit reset in the old Super Nintendo. I just hope it saves. Or we just have to... Oh, it might not have saved at all. I don't think it saved at all. Uh, check if you have regular bombs. And that's how oh, we know. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, you know that... I... So it's heart piece and regular bombs is what you got in the yes. other place. Um... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. You have regular bombs again. Uh, yeah, the Yahoo Squad. Okay, so the, the, yeah, they're planning to blow up uh, Mars just to eliminate the bugs. Um, the, the original gang basically gets together and prevents that. They, they, they overload a terraforming thing, also where the bomb was hidden. Um, it's called a Q-bomb, uh, which, like, shoots to the planet's core and blows it completely up. It's like, okay, that's kind of neat. Like, th there's, 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 there's tech that they, uh, keep messing with. Mm -hmm. We've been all through this. I know, oh, but, but not with bombs. bombs. Yeah. Just to see. Yeah. Um... I could have sworn that you, you do it through there. I, I, same. I, um, so just continuing on, just, yeah. Uh, yeah, they overload a, uh, the, the, the squad saves Johnny, um, then they, uh, overload a, they, they turn off the Q bomb right when the, uh, governor, chancellor, whatever, is giving her address of like, Oh, it's such a sad day. Yeah. She's just watching a thing of approval ratings going up. She's like getting all smug about it. Um, and they 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 stop the uh, Q bomb from going off, and then they live broadcast like, "Oh, uh -huh, we did it!" Like that level. Yeah. That, actually, the the pilot uh, for them is quite literally that. He is. <laughs> Oh, you want to fly down there? Okay, I, I can. I, I, I guess I can do that. Like, mm, that's that's a thing. Um, uh, it, it, it's it's not bad. Yeah. For, for for that, uh, a, a lot of the squad is bad, but not not for that reason. Um, shit. You have regular bombs now. They're not that much of a trouble anymore. Uh, so yeah, they, they, they stop the bomb, live broadcast it. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris, despite the fact that he's all like beat up and stuff, he's actually able to somehow escape. And uh, they, yeah, basically they win. She doesn't get killed. Uh, the the chancellor doesn't get killed. She doesn't even get like reprimanded she just 
has to step down, which is like, yeah. There's a whole thing to where like uh, Johnny's like, oh, we should we should do something about it. He's like, uh, yeah, we kind of can't. That would just put the entire Federation at it, like, uh, destroy the entire Federation. And sometimes the bad guy gets away with it. It's just too bad that someone doesn't go out there and kind of reveal these secrets and have it all here on this uh, little disc. Uh, I mean, you can keep it, Johnny, for safekeeping. And then Johnny hands it to his lieutenant, who's the, the nerdy guy that uploads it to the internet that was trying to live broadcast the fighting in the first place. So yeah, she doesn't get away with it in the end, but they yeah. don't show it in the story. Um, and for a time, Neil Patrick Harris is going to be the leader because he's like in her office when they like yeah. get back and he like explains it all to them. They're like, oh, there's stupid political bullshit. Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah, that's what you got to deal with. Uh, it just, yeah. it feels it, like feels like the it should have been uh, she gets killed by the bugs that she infested the world with. She infected Mars. She's on Earth. Oh. She's she's million we type of thing yeah from having to deal with it so it's like it's makes sense yeah um so just usually that's how you that's yeah it, it she but yeah her own problem did not come back to bite her it wasn't poetic justice yeah um which was fine because of the yeah it would have been weird if she had put herself in harm's way when she didn't need to God damn it. uh i didn't like her as a character because she was just like Oh, I'm I'm a young, brilliant young woman, and that's my whole yeah. character. And then I'm smug, and like all of these people are with me when it's just a it's a popularity contest. Mm -hmm. That's their whole yeah gimmick. Um, and, and oh, the popularity stuff happens instantly, so she nearly had a hundred percent approval rating when yes. she was gonna launch the bomb. And then when the bomb didn't go off, and like. They said like, "Oh yeah, we 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 did it. We're gonna take back, we're gonna take back Mars. Us like, cause that's what grunts do. Mobile infantry's four killing bugs. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. Uh, not not a terrible part of the movie. Um, <laughs> surprisingly enough, stupid. Yeah, the stupid parts are the better parts. Uh, when it tries to be smart, is like, not your your writing's just not there. Uh, yeah." So, yeah, the, the gang sees each other uh, again during the times where you see Dizzy at one point. Uh, it flashes to show that it's uh, Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah, because she's a force Jedi. Yes. Um, <laughs> and, and, yeah, it's, it's like a weird catharsis because he got fucked up. <laughs> um, and also because, like, him, whatever he did to, like, break rules and get sent to Mars to train shitty people mm -hmm. uh, is weighing on him too. So it's like, he, he, the, the hero of Klendaku is now, like... Relegated to Jack. Garbage, yeah. yeah. And he's he's feeling that. Um, uh, but yeah, it, it's, it's rather quick. It's, it's not... Mm -hmm. uh, I would watch it again because the... It's an inoffensive companion piece to the original. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it's it's a little childish, yes. I would say. Other than that, I, I enjoyed it. Um, oh, that did say. Yeah. It would have to have, because you got I, I Because I, I wasn't sure if each game saved independently or not. Uh, mm. Well, I would I, assume because each time that yeah. you travel to the other world, it has to remember Something, what you did in yes. this. So it's just I a pure just progress. Sure. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's a snake in the grass. Um, it's okay. Yeah, it, it, was, it was fine. There's a lot of just... This is clearly... A, an, like anime people fucking made part of this, yeah, or a lot of this, and it just shows horribly. Yeah, it's, it's um, missing that sarcasm essentially. Yeah, well, that, that's Carl, I, I, uh, Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah, I'm pretty sure his name is Carl. Um, 
has it in spades. Yeah. He is constantly being a sarcastic well, asshole. Just, I'm saying, like, though, the world. Yes. Like, of the original it, it, movie. It, it doesn't have the, uh, like... Like, you could watch the original movie as just Dur her military movie, or you could watch it as a criticism of we could become this. Yes. It, it's lacking that level of, like, self-awareness. Yeah. But um, it still functions fine as a... As just a military sci-fi. Yeah. Sure. It, it, it's not bad. Um, and the action was fucking great. Mm -hmm. it, it really made me want a Warhammer thing. Because <laughs> it's just like, yeah, this, this action is cool. The the whole uh, armor set, the, 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 the suits mm -hmm. were good. The, the way that they functioned uh, didn't make them seem overpowered. Uh... The, the, the fact that they have the guns uh, was called up in multiple... How it functioned was uh, called up in multiple parts where if uh, he wanted to take command of the uh, dropship's weapon system, mm -hmm. it ties back into his suit like it would be on a, a cannon on his shoulder. Yeah. So it's just the same functions in other things. So it's, it's like, okay, that's neat little touch. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I, I found it very entertaining. Okay. I actually watched another entertaining movie that's uh, kind of a callback to old, uh, an old movie. I watched Mortal Kombat. Mmm, actually, yeah, I wanted to... It's very fucking entertaining. The original, or the new the one? The new one. I heard the new one, shit. It is... I'm not saying it's good. I'm yeah. saying it's very entertaining. <laughs> the action is there. Uh, it is bloody as fuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I've uh, seen bits. The, the the story is dumb as fuck, and I loved it. Uh, okay, no farming required. Really? Okay. Um. So then, wait, what was in the other one? Uh, that was the how I got to the water area. In oh, right, right, right. Yeah. That's, that's why I came back here to check those two areas. Okay. Um, it, I would put both of these movies on the same level. Really? Yes. I might like the Starship Trooper one more. I... I from what you said, I probably would like it more because at least it's it, it's it's dumb and entertaining. Yeah. Uh, the the Mortal Kombat one it's just dumb. Is dumb. It's still entertaining. It's 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 crappy action. It's it tries to introduce way too many characters. Mm -hmm. Um and. Yeah, it's just a dumb action flick, and I was I was completely okay with that. Cause I I don't think we get enough of those anymore. No, we don't. Or if they are dumb, they're not like dumb enough. They're not dumb in the fun way of like let's do weird shit. They're dumb in the, the, the this one. They're Fast and the Furious kind of dumb. Oh, the, this one the, it did fun stuff with how dumb it was. Yes. So, so at least, it, like, they, they, they talk about, the, oh, I'm all, uh, Kano is part of the good guys for a second. Yes. And it's like, oh, am I gonna get to shoot fireballs and shit? Like, let me do that. Like, I wanna fucking do that. And, and they're all like, you need to get in touch with your con. He's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> like, it's, it's making fun of itself in the, yes. those moments. Like, okay, good. And then when he actually gets... He, he actually shoots a laser beam out of his eye. He's like, oh, I got a fucking laser beam! It's so much better than a fireball! <laughs> okay. Uh, it's... Yeah, it's... If, if anybody's tr taking it serious, they're an idiot. Mm hmm And... I'm pretty sure that that's what a lot of people are doing. Yes. I, I, I The complaint I heard is how stupid is it that they're... Like... The, the analogy was made, what if they made a new Street Fighter movie and 
rather than Ken or Ryu being the lead role, some rando you've never seen before is the lead role, and Ken and Ryu occasionally pop in and say, Good job, rando! And that's it. Because apparently, yeah. they were saying the lead character just doesn't exist in Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I... Lore. Uh, well... And it's one of those things of like... I, I think that this is based off the, the, the reboot lore. Because I'm pretty sure that there's new lore for Mortal Kombat after a certain point. Mm -hmm. To where, yeah, it's not the original where, yeah, Liu Kang and... Because uh, Liu Kang's in it, Kung Lao's in it. Yeah. Um, but the the kid is supposed to be a descendant of Sub-Zero. Or not Sub-Zero, of Scorpion. Mm. Before Scorpion was Scorpion. And then at some point, Scorpion comes back from hell and fights Sub-Zero because Sub-Zero's the hardest guy on Shang Tsung's team. Yes. Um... Yeah, it, it's for the most part, I was completely fine with it. It, I definitely turned off my brain during it. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, that's an area that we have not been to. Yes, because last time I think we got the medallion needed to get to this area. We still need the fucking lantern for this dungeon. And up comes the dungeon entrance. <laughs> Why you stab my yeah. nipple? I only have the one. So hopefully we can make some progress here. technically a better movie really like like confidence wise oh, okay. the original is 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 yes. a very entertaining movie but it yes. is it is it, it is a joke unto itself yes the, this one is yeah the, the, there's there's technically Yeah, they, they, they have the stupid, like, melodrama stuff kind of thrown in there to where, like... Like, the main character, which I never caught his name. Mm. The entire time... Uh, again, I turned my brain off during this. Uh, cause I was not expecting a good movie whatsoever. Uh... But yeah, I never caught his name. I always thought that like, okay, so he's gonna become Scorpion. Mm. Uh, that, that's what I thought. And then suddenly like, when he gets his power, he has like a weird golden suit of armor over his torso. And okay. gets Tonfas. Um... Which is like, okay, then? Oh, wow, that just blasts. Yeah, uh, it drains your magic while you're doing it. Oh. Not great. 
dungeon is not being friendly. Oh, they're still coming. Yeah, it's, it was stuck in the retreat. For the south? But now you're on top. Yeah. You get around that. I have not seen a switchy thing. I have not either. Hmm. But yeah, I don't I don't know who the main character is supposed to be, but I have not played a new Mortal Kombat since. Same. So it's three? Yeah, it's like forever. Yeah. Like I I, I I went to an arcade and played one. I haven't been to an arcade in my thirties. <laughs> and I've been in my thirties for the five years. <laughs> have to come out from it. Oh, okay. Oh. Big key. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you did that. Yes, alright. Uh, I can go back and get that big chest now. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I walk this door, the switch will be on that side. That way I can go down. This could be really useful now. Yeah, that's a constant problem. Switch it before you do use it too. Mm -hmm. I think it's a switch. Yeah, it's the one. I think that's the one switch in the whole dungeon. Mm. It's just to make the whole place change. Interesting. But yeah, I uh, I wouldn't recommend the Mortal Kombat movie. Mm -hmm. But I would. Mm. I don't know if I'd break my hand. Alright, go through there. I'm not sure, I just got the key. Uh. Mm, okay, there's no one. Ah! Oh, that's a map. Gotta remember. No, oh, fuck you. <laughs> Technical. Technically, you made progress. Yes. Actually, this will get us to be a big chest pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. 
Um, would I recommend either movie? I mean, the, the, coming, star, the Starship Trooper one, I might. Coming, coming. If, if like it depends is, on who I who I'm talking to at that point. Not. Well, I mean, not I'm so much the movie. I'm assuming if it's if you like calling it an unoffensive companion piece, kind of says if you like the first one, you'll probably find something to enjoy here. Yeah. If you like killing bugs, it's a good time. Yeah, if, if, if you just like the general shit of the first movie. Yeah. If you like the surface level shit, and you're okay with anime tropes, you're gonna have a good time. Yay! It's not a terrible thing to get. Oh shit, it resets the one. Uh, but it didn't reset the uh, one thing, so the, there's one close button. The switch over here on the left side? Yeah. Yeah. So at least there's that. Kinda talk about some stuff I watched. You actually reminded me of one of them earlier when you mentioned Tony, because I took his advice on a recent episode and watched a horrible, horrible movie, well, more like a children's pilot show, called Wizard So So. <laughs> it is a horribly animated CG. You, you could kill that thing with the. Oh. It's, it's a horrible, like, children's show that's CG animated. Like, all the characters, their mouth motions are all lips, no jaw <laughs> movement. So anime. Uh, yeah, but but CG. Ooh. Yeah, like, see, like, their skin is around the mouth is flexing like a fucking puckered anus as they Ooh. talk. And it's all just about this wizard who's kind of good at being a wizard. He's so-so at being a wizard. Okay. And it's... I would just leave the room. Unless you want to move that... Out of the block. Well, yeah. Well, you gotta hit the switch again. Oh, now. I did it already? I'm pretty sure. Let me go check. It's right up here. Okay, I got it. Uh, but, yeah, not much to say about it other than just fucking awful. Like... I was hoping for so bad it's good oh, okay. type of stuff, and it's it, it's two fucking stories about uh, a cat gets kicked out of a barn because the rats inside of it ate too much of the farmer's food and got giant, and so the the cat asks for the wizard's help, and so the wizard makes a potion that he puts in a dart that if you throw it into the rat's left butt cheek. It will cause them to shrink, but he miscalculated, and it makes them grow instead. Uh, and so he has to develop a new potion. I went up here. I know you went up, but I I didn't you didn't go down here. Yeah. Um, and so he has to develop a new potion. But now the rats are giant, so they're harder to fight. So him and the cat drink a potion that makes them kung fu masters. And they fight the rats with kung fu. And then they don't beat the rats with kung fu because they're bad at kung fu. Uh, and then, But the, they do hit the rats with the correct thing and then they become normal size. The end of that story. Sounds I, awful. I, yeah, I don't know what the mor moral is supposed to be. Uh, if you get in trouble, have a wizard fix it. <laughs> and then the other... Oh, this is where we need a lantern for. Or Ryan will feel around in the dark with his... Before that, we could look up the maps again. Uh, but before we do that... Yeah, there's other stuff to explore. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good job. I somehow got a little bit. The second story is a... Um, let's see, this one was up here. And what was over here? I think this was the first switch for Yeah. Yes, and also I think there was the boss key door. So I think you can oh, go that way. Okay. 
We could also just check. Yes, that would be a thing to do. The button I keep accidentally hitting. Ah, uh, yeah, it's, looks like it's up this way. Going, you can just go back. I hear you go back or go down. I think this might be quicker back to the main. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. uh, but the second story is what away. About that way. This one. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Oh right, right, right. Is of a. Dragonfly and a butterfly who want to be something else, so the wizard gives them pills that let them transform. Oh, this just teleports us here. Why? I don't know. Maybe at some point we have to flip the switch so that we couldn't get there normally. Mm. So we have to take the teleporter. Uh, and so the, the dragonfly becomes an actual dragon, and then the dragonfly as a dragon. Oh, no. I figured it was a key. Hmm. Didn't do anything. Not really, no. Yeah, so now at this point, I think the dark room's the only Dark room! Yeah, every other room's been explored. What is that? Is that saying that that's the big chest? The two red white? Yeah. Yeah, that's the big chest. Even though we've opened it? Yes. Okay. That's dumb. Shit. Uh, Alright, do you want to take over and get to the dark room and I'll get the map up? Um, let's see. This is... Or I can go this way. Oh yeah, is that chest? Key. Hey. I'm the best. <laughs> John is the dumb. I am the dumb. I, I'll agree to that statement. That is a horrible dark room that we're going to be going to. Looks like four turrets. You have to find a button to open the door we want to go to. Uh, that key will unlock a door that's just a room full of rupees. Hopefully it's that it's lit. Might just be like the torches to open. You might. Oh yeah, so time to finish the riveting so so story. <laughs> uh, so so yeah, the dragonfly oh, is now a dragon. Suck at this part. Tricks the butterfly into eating a pill, where it becomes a literal butterfly, a stick of butter with wings. I kind of love it. And then the dragon wants to eat goats that talk. <laughs> and then, but goats are the friends of the wizard, so he doesn't want that. And eventually they force the dragon to eat a pill that turns it back into a dragonfly. And then they say, you're mean. Go home. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Ooh, chest. I don't have enough health to... Uh, to missiles. Yay. This over here. Uh, I don't really don't care to kill me right now because I need to go back that yeah. way, anyways. Uh, so, yeah, it was that. Uh, yeah, I watched episode 7 of uh, Invincible. 
uh, and then the thing I watched that I said made me kind of sad, I finally got around to watching Made in Abyss. It mm. is such a good sad story. <laughs> yeah, I, I still haven't watched it. It's... I, I know it's supposed to be like one of the best in recent history. Mm -hmm. Um... Which I, I'm assuming they're not doing anything else with it, because it's only the first season. Uh, so yeah, I assume that it's not. Because, yeah, it was 2017 that that came out, so it's been oh, a yeah. while. I, I'm watching uh, New Amity right now. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, 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 I, I, watching I highly, highly recommend Made Up Base, because it has all the characteristics that I'm fucking wanting out of something like Invincible, where it's like, hey, we're gonna take our time. We're gonna introduce the characters. We're gonna make sure you know the characters are familiar with the characters before anything happens. That way, when something happens, you go, "Oh no!" Because you know that's kind of how you tell a story. Okay, Rich. <laughs> Endless trash. Uh. Well, just like going going back to like Invincible. Episode one has. I wish I had superpowers, gets superpowers, vigilante superhero, gets trained by dad, becomes official superhero, dad kills Justice League in the first episode. So there's no breathing room at all. Meanwhile, in From Abyss, for anyone who doesn't know, the show's basically about a giant pit that has things in it, and pretty obviously the goal is to get to the bottom of the pit for everybody, or for, for your main character. Guess how long it takes them before they even fucking step, like, start going down the pit? Three episodes! It takes three episodes before they even go, let's journey to the bottom of the pit. Out of ten episodes, it took three just to start that. That, that reminds me of a Jobless Incarnation, mm -hmm. um, which was, like, one of the first Isekai... Uh, stories. What, what are they? The light novels. Oh, oh. Um, and, uh, it, he stays a child forever <laughs> in it. Well, that fucking sucks. Yeah. Really? That's, that's it? I guess they just keep on scrolling. Yeah. Not gonna happen. I'm not supposed to get more of these bitches. I think they just. That's a constant respawn. Okay. Um. Hey, more luck. Things to light up. Do <laughs> you have to, like, go? It does track torches in other rooms. during the animation goes out. <laughs> so something changed. Yay. The game froze. <laughs> It's a nasty looking room. I have no idea if there's enemies in it, but like I said, there's four turrets that are going to be shooting at you. 
and it is not a normally shaped room at all. My real problem is, how the fuck do we open the door? Uh, right here, the button. Okay. So you find a pot there, I'm assuming. Yeah. I can do it. Yeah, it's doable, but it's just fucking nasty. Yeah. And that's a switch on the other side? Where? That? Whoops. That. That's a heart. Oh, that's a heart. Yeah, you want to hit that button and then go through that door down there okay. at the left. Uh, but yes, Ma Made in the Abyss is very, very good. Uh, I, I, I was, like I said, I, I went through some nice little sad bits that very much made me go, Whoa, Don't make me sick. That, that's what I was watching before I came over when I had Gladius on, because I had... I was like, oh, I just got the last episode of a season ago. So I'll watch that before I go over to Ryan's. Uh, I figured I'd just play Gladius. Oh, yeah, I watched an entire season of a, a Netflix show. Based off of, I'm assuming, a teen uh, book. book series thing. Mm -hmm. It wasn't terrible. It definitely is uh, littered with the... SJW rhetoric that is permeating Hollywood. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> uh, but otherwise, it was kind of neat because it, it has its own magic system. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Shadow and Bone or something like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, so. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was pure luck right there. Entertaining, uh, and it looks like there's going to be another season. Oh, um, turrets. Yeah. Uh, with, yeah, it, it 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 wraps up the season well, and then leads off with uh, like, oh, the bad guy can't. Was, they already knew that he was immortal, so it's like the fact that he's not truly dead is like, yeah, it's not not a revelation, mm -hmm. which is good because if it was a revelation, that would kind of be stupid to people. Like they spell it out for you. Yeah. Um. Yeah, uh, it was. It was worth a watch, I guess. I'd probably watch the second season at this point. It's like not a square room, so. <laughs> Here's the thing. I know that that one is like right there. Yeah. I was trying to get behind the pot so that way it would hit the... I don't know if it hits pots. Oh. So my idea might have been a bad one. <laughs> no. Go away. I know. I, I should have gotten the uh, cheat sheet for this. Because when you make the wrong, you can get a... Here's where all the items are. 
Oh, like just in case. Just in case you get fucking perma stuck. Cause yeah, that lantern is just holding us up. Yeah. Cause yeah, this room would not be a challenge at all if we had the lantern. <laughs> What's so it'll open that one, right? Yes. What's in the next room? Uh, a bunch of blocks, which I'm assuming has light in it. That that's fine, even if it doesn't. Uh, the room after that, even if it's dark. I'm assuming that's light. I think it's just this one room. It. But I, I'm just looking for where's the next treasure chest. Uh. D. No. I'm not seeing a single treasure chest, but this is how you get to the boss, mm. I believe. So that, yeah, to complete this dungeon, it's mandatory. Which this dungeon will get us the last pendant, so that we can go where the master sword is and get whatever item that is. Okay. So yeah, it's tied to some form of immediate progress. Oh, I can't do it on them. Oh, they die immediately. They die immediately, and these guys just yeah, don't get just touched by it. Oh, 
Ouais. What? What? He hit me. Oh, and then you beamed? And I still have full health. I don't know what happened there. It's going a little bit too late. Oh. <laughs> she like changed direction. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> the best I'm going to be able to do. Yeah. Please, please, I uh, welcome it. That is actually very. Yeah, like the, every other room had more tight knit corners and shit, so yeah. you could kind of like map it out. But this one is a big open space. And it, well, honestly, it's the curve. Mm -hmm. The curve fucks with me the most. <laughs> Yeah, somehow. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> I got stuck in there. Yeah. Full magic. No? Did they not cover if you have full magic? Mm -hmm. So I got that repeatedly. Yeah. Just look, we are gay. Are gay, sir? Yes, sir. No, go that. Uh, unless you want full health. I do want full health. Okay, then go that way. To, to get to the slimes, go down, yeah. unlock, and do the... Or slugs. <sighs> I didn't realize that would work. <laughs> yeah, I think anything that causes a hit will switch to oh, just bombs and stuff that do it as well. Don't do that. So I, last night I played a round of the tail wastes thing for Vermitide. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. It's a, it is a like roguelike mode where you you get like super upgrades, don't you? Kind yeah like, uh so every time you do a mission, it'll tell you what kind of enemies, whether it's Skaven, uh, Chaos or Beastmen, or any combination of the two. Okay. Uh, it'll tell you, like, a specific characteristic for the level, like if there's going to be lots of uh, armor Skaven patrols, or extra uh, chaos sorcerers, or whatever. So you, so you always have a little bit of knowledge going in, and then... Uh, and then uh, at the bottom it lists the rewards. So when you complete it, you will gain a permanent buff, like 20% max HP... Uh, the cone of your pushes is wider. Okay. Uh, everyone gains one extra hit, like stamina shield. Hello. Yeah. Got it. Just gotta find a door. Is it? It's a little bit that way. Was in it because I couldn't use the hookshot. No! Okay, I'm too high up. Oh, I hit the switch again! Where are you? I'm way far off. Damn it! Damn it! I had it! Ah. I was about to say, just use the potion. Mmm. Nah. I can replicate that. 
but I yeah. believe that you can't. <laughs> you suck. Don't. Yeah, I already know the reverse psychology bit, man. It don't work like that no more. You don't believe you suck anymore? Sean, are you progressing? I, I did it first try. <laughs> After watching uh, you do it multiple times so I knew what I needed to do. But yeah, so there are gems scattered off around the level that you pick up, and that becomes the resource, because there's shrines scattered throughout the levels that you can get. That's where you can get, yeah, like a extra 50 boost on uh, your current weapon, or you can replace your weapon with a better weapon. Um, and none of this is truly permanent. It's roguelite. No, it's just, it's, so. yeah, once, once it's over, you revert back to whatever your equipment set started as. Okay. Uh, uh, what do you get for completing a run? Uh, chest, like you normally get. Okay. Um, although, see, I, I didn't get to do... I, I did the lowest difficulty, and you have to unlock... Uh, damn it. Sure come to you. Yeah. Uh... You have to unlock the higher challenges because then you. Just, I saw someone else playing it uh, to see what the higher level stuff. To where, uh, at that point, you start getting levels that are actually cursed by the Chaos Gods, and so, for example, on um, if Slanesh is, is cursing the level, uh, every two players are linked to each other. So whenever the one takes damage, the other one takes an additional half the damage you took. So you now have to protect each other because uh, your own ass is on the line. And if That's it's, awesome. If it's Nurgle, the entire map is covered in... Uh, you be, you play... Oh, whatever. One hit points. Okay. I say that. <laughs> I, I, I played what? Uh, you, you basically play uh, Crystal Chronicles. But to where one person carries a... Oh, you carry the torch. Carries a torch that keeps the, the plague away. Uh, and you can toss it down, and everyone fights around it, yada yada. So, and, and when you're outside of it, your max health drops. Uh, but then once you're back inside, you regain it. So that's the Nurgle. So it, your your health drops, your max health does not. Uh, no, your max health does. Like, it blocks it out, just like when you pick up the Grimoires. Mm, okay. I think I double clicked it. Oh, you think you have to push something I think on it? I have to push something on it. There's nothing in the room. There's nothing in the room. This to push. might be the dungeon you get the block made. No, that's that's on the mountain. Uh, you can. It'll tell you, won't it? Check the map log. What does it say about number eleven? The rod. So we have to put a block on it in the dark. This is not happening. It can. Because as soon as you throw it, you can hit it. You just hit the button and it will create the block. Right. But what happens when you don't? Because what? You, you're fucked. Yeah. Like, already just the odds of lift pot, step on button, go through door is hindering us. But now it's, it's fucking... Yeah, no, no. Lift, as soon as you lift, you, you know, you know when you lift the pot, don't you? Sort yes, but I'm also panicking to like move, and if I get hit by something, I'm gonna move back a little bit, which resets my position. Right. So like, um, I don't know if we can do this one without the lantern. <laughs> Ooh. 
If you want to take a shot. I don't. <laughs> we can leave. I'm perfectly fine with leaving. It's just... it. Do you know of another place that we can go to? <laughs> no. Then... Because we can't finish that till we... Uh, get the mallet? We still don't have mallet, right? Yeah, we do not have mallet. Uh, what's this? That's, yeah, we do have that. Um, that's that one. Can't. Oh my man, oh my man. We did that. <laughs> I really don't know where we can go right now. Because <laughs> we've done pretty much everything here. Yeah, as far as Zelda World, I don't know what we can do at this point. I don't... As far as Metroid World, I don't know what we can do right now. At this point, find every item before the lava pit room there. Because that's where we got stuck in Metroid last time. Was that we can't swim in lava because we don't have the fucking gravity suit. Right. But we can exist in lava. Yes. Oh no, we can't uh, yet. Oh, don't, we don't have various suit? I don't... Oh, hey, there's this thing. Oh, cool. Oh. Oh! Where the fuck is this? Okay. This might get us something. Yeah, this is this is an area we can be in. Oh god. Oh, wait, where? Hmm. It's okay, we can always save and quit. I know, I've just There's an item right there. Bomb. Rupees. Doesn't matter, it's an item. Yes. I'm just, I'm worried because I. Is this close to. Oh no, this is the Chozo statue fight! Okay. Uh, uh, missile, missile, mi missile. Oh god, this is one of the hard fights. Mm. Why not super missile? Uh, mm. Got a shit ton of them. True. Because he throws a magic. <laughs> oh, he just catches super yes, missiles. Yes, yes. But he doesn't catch regular missiles? I don't think so. Ooh, I am very close to dying. No, you have an energy tank refill. Oh, once he grabs one, you can... You can oh, shoot him. Just gotta shoot him like three times in a row. Shoot, shoot. Cause he grabs. Oh shit, that was a little bomb egg. So a lot. We got more energy tanks than I thought. Oh yeah, cause we had two reserve tanks. Oh, I'm all out of supers. I can refill off that. Yeah, he's dodging that shit. Yeah. He's strutting his stuff. He's a woman, man. Got no time to talk. Not want to be thrown right into this fucking fight. Especially because we don't have fucking charge beam. Yeah. Oh, charge beams are another way to to hurt him. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure you need to use sun missiles on him. Yes, I'm just trying to farm out his uh, vomit eggs. 
dropping bombs. Jive turkey, get out of here! No! Ooh. Don't stand on the healing. There's one right back there. The little one. progress for the past like five minutes or anything. Uh, is he gonna put us mm -hmm. back on the ship? Mm -hmm. How do we even get there? What where where do we go in Zelda to do that? I know exactly where. We, oh the yes. Okay. It's really easy. Yes. It is really easy. I completely forgot. That's okay. <laughs> I'm just glad that it's really easy. Yes. Okay, we can do that. Yes. That is easily retriable. <laughs> Did we ever go down there and do all of that? I believe so. Uh, yeah, it's it's all it's all it's all colored. Mm -hmm. uh, do we get our reserve tank back? Yeah, it looks like it because the auto's there. Yes. Okay. Now that we know what to expect, let's try that again. Save my boot! Oh, before you go down, is there anything? Okay, it's just no. Nah. Okay. The last time you were there, I'm like, is there more? There, there's areas where, yeah, we can get shit like that. Actually, I should explore the rest of this place before I go back in there. Just to see if there's any sort of cave or anything. Yeah. Oh, there's a cave. What you got? Little bug man, hello. Okay, I'll tell you something about it. Sure. My life is pretty plain, I like watching the puddles gather rain, and all I could do is just pour some tea for two, speak my, my point, point of view, view but it's, it's, not not saying. Saying. it's not saying, it's not saying. the left one this time. Coward. some super missiles for the fight we're going into, but... Okay. <laughs> There's 
through this. Yeah, he lands right on you as you come through the door. Okay, now, yeah, now that I know what to expect, I'm fucking him up pretty quick. <laughs> Oh shit. The fucking. Oh my god. He's doing so much damage. Look at that. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Get back to vomiting. You're way cooler when you vomit. No, don't do that. Switch your missiles and just start firing if he's gonna do that. Come back! Yeah! Help me! Shit wasn't enough! What the fuck did you just do? Oh, god damn it! He made some sort of fucking weird noise. Alright! <laughs> or so minutes that we should switch. Okay. So, I guess just keep trying this. Yeah, you got this. Uh, yeah, by by, prob by just pure probability, I'll get it at some point. Oh, that was that was that was not hunger or anything like that. It was just settling. I ordered uh, some ramen, fried chicken, and uh, uh, oh, ne next time you uh, get back, you can, or if you die again. Go into the ship. It'll refill everything. Yeah, I think I start off refilled. Oh, wait, no. You're right. I'm missing some soupies. Yeah. Huh. No. Yeah, he's almost dying every time. <laughs> but unfortunately, he does. 
shit worth of damage. Down the ship we go. We just haven't gotten enough hit points. We should have way more energy tanks at this point. Mm. Got him. Okay. Yeah, all you need to do is spam. Yes. Well, tactically spam. Yeah. Oh, no. Is this what we're supposed to have? Fucking screw attack? We're supposed to be able to get up through there and into this area, but because we don't have screw attack, we can't chew through it. Can you super bomb while you're down and then jump up? That's a... No, it doesn't reach that far. Hmm. Well, we know it's a super missile, so... For that one, then there's one here. Mm. Progress ruined. <laughs> well I can tell you that one area that we always try to figure out if we can get into mm -hmm. is not used in the speech run <laughs> Yeah, we can all 
so if we had screw tech it through that. A boss was killed. <laughs> yes. Hmm. We technically made some progress today. Yes. Can't do that, because we need the magic mirror. Uh, we can't do one, because it needs the mallet. Two, we need something, because we were in there. Was it just a dark room that we couldn't pass yet again? Might have been. Mm. And seven, we need magic mirror. Hi. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yeah, there is. The kid on the stump now is something we can go to. Uh, so... Kid on the stump? I thought we did that. No, because we needed to kill uh, the boss of the castle. Like, he advances time when you kill him for a lot of things. Mm. And I believe now. Do we have to do? Let's visit the Light World version first. <laughs> you said you, you touched sword tips. <laughs> yeah, I did. <sighs> what else did I watch this week that's worth talking about? Oh, so while I was watching the Starship Troopers thing, mm -hmm. I it, it really, really made me want to rewatch Exo Squad. <laughs> and I'm sure it's just a I have fond memories yes. of it as a child, and it's not that good. Yes. But man, I love some of the concepts in that goddamn mm -hmm. show. I, I remember when my, my favorite character was Alec. Uh, actually, I actually had two favorite characters. I liked <laughs> Alec, and then I liked the uh, the police guy that's only in it for like a few episodes. <laughs> but like after the after the basically the humans lose because mm -hmm. the Neo Sapiens Neo Sapiens yeah uh, so. Alec became one of my favorite characters when he died. And then he came back as a clone of himself and technically a Neo Sapien after that. Okay. And I'm like, th for a kid, I'm like, that's fucking crazy, like, concept yeah. stuff. Um, and then I liked the uh, police sergeant guy because he it, it was... The Neo Sapiens won, and he was just like a resistance fighter. Mm. But he had his old police exosuit. <laughs> that was the dumbest looking thing. It's been forever, so I can hardly remember. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna pull a picture on my yep. phone of the stupid. Uh... I remember the main guy's blue suit and the like walker suit that the alien and the chick so together. The oh yeah yeah um. So the green uh, exosuit is Alex. Yeah. Um. N not Hunks. Not the fat guy. That had okay. uh, the orange one with the grappling hook. I remember a lot of that yeah. fucking thing. Uh, Yeah, because I thought we found him the other time. Yeah, I, I just wasn't sure. Because I, I have to go to the tracker and see what opens up because of him dying. Because I know, yeah, one was that tree that I went in. God, the animation was garbage. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's like a kid's drawing. But yeah, that was the police one, but oh, it also had like, uh, it, it had ugly. more police colors on it too. Oh, I, I loved, I fucking loved that series. 
Oh, here's the actual toy version of it. With, yeah, with that, that's, see, it has like three oh. sirens in the front. So ugly looking. God damn. It's so damn. good. Let's see. Um, oh. Give me a sec. Let's see. Uh, let's see. That one was Agonim. JT Marsh, that was the main guy. Mm, that yeah. That and yeah, there's go. there's his. Yes. Yeah, I, I love that, that his one. had stupid wings on it. Yep. Only one. Everyone's could fly. His was the only one with wings. Oh. God, that was a good. Th then there was also the like drop troopers that had just basic armor over their just just a just a human with like oh i'm i just put on like a, like an exo frame not just a full mm. suit like oh god I, uh, there's so many cool concepts in that show was wasted on kids <laughs> including myself mm -hmm. god that and pirates of dark water like serious yeah. Subject matter, kid show. Very few really touch those kind of elements these days. That's right, that bridge is gone. The the bridge is a unique mallet for. Well, there's a, supposed to be a bridge to the Hyrule Castle up there in the mm. light world, but in the dark world there isn't one. Gotcha. So I gotta go over it. Fuck you. You can't go around. I can't? No, because the, the actual bridge to the Hyrule Castle is... Uh, you well, I'm trying to get. Up. Oh, you're trying to get up. The somewhere there. Okay. Uh, so I have to go around through the town. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll check whatever this is, and hopefully it gets us something. Otherwise, if not, we're jumping to Lost Odyssey. Yep. And which we'll have to make a hard decision in the future of uh, do we just give up on this? Cause I don't know what the fuck we're supposed to do at this point. <laughs> Outside of doing what we were doing last time, of like go to every little thing on the map and check. I think I remember you doing that before. It looks like a thing, so. <laughs> at least you're consistent. Yeah. Consistently wrong. Oh yeah. Like, by far. <laughs> the, the real problem that I have with this currently is it's a constant thing of like, hey, we've made kind of progress, but we're held up by just one thing, so we're, we've half completed a lot of stuff. It's like, mm -hmm. oh. You need Kate for a hook shot. But do we need a lantern? <laughs> Fuck you. You should have uh, hook shot at him. True. Fuck you. Fuck you. Stop it. Jumping Jehoshaphat. Mm -hmm. I'll do. You're not going in that cave? I will. I just want to check up here. I know. I think we've already been up here. But, ah, it's right. oh. I ripped up against you. Ho, ho. Just to make sure there's nothing here that we might mm -hmm. store. Oh, we we're going to buy a shield there. Yeah. In case it ever gets stolen again. Yes. Fuck off, don't you fucking touch me. Unfortunately, it's a burst probably there. Yep. Fuck you! <laughs> 
please no dark, please no dark. Yes! Okay. I see why you wouldn't want to do this in the dark. No. Just, well, period. I just, I'm fucking tired of dark. Can we please? Okay, you said you don't need a hookshot. You apparently can just use the cave. I don't know how I would use the cave to get over that. Can you use the cave to get over that? I... Yeah. Maybe if you go along the side, you can actually do that. Oh boy, we can get that rupee. We got a thing. Yeah. Let's just drop this back down here. Okay. Why? Why not? Uh, okay. I. You know, th this is the. It, it's at this point where I wish we weren't drinking soda. Because <laughs> I, I feel like I'd be more. Because we don't deserve the gamer fuel because we're not real gamers. <laughs> No, I'm saying that we should get drunk because I feel depressed for doing this. <laughs> uh, fuck you. But I want you to be your friend. You'd come out ahead if you were friends with me. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Scoliosis. Do we ever check the graveyard in the dark world? No. It doesn't say there's anything there on the map. Then that's probably why. I'll check anyways. <laughs> what be here? A little octopus. Say something about it. Sure. Crystal 5-6, you could find a great fairy in the pyramid. Womp womp, whizzle womp. Yeah, okay. up there? Or is that just... If we had the magic mirror. Ah. Because, yeah, if there's a platform there in the light world, that's the only way you can get to it. Ah. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I did start talking about something. Uh, so I ordered a uh, ramen and uh, some unagi, mm -hmm. uh, and like just the assortment of stuff. As soon as I got it, I'm like, "Yeah, Japanese people are, are not the owners of this place." <laughs> just like kind of seeing what they add to like their version of the stuff, I'm like, "You're Korean." Like, <laughs> And I hate that I can tell, like just based off of like certain stuff, like, oh, adding corn to this rice dish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only Koreans do that. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure the Japanese don't. Maybe I'm wrong, but I've seen that in a lot of Korean cooking. Go out, like, they just love to add fucking corn to things. <laughs> corn and cheese, to where it's like, I I really like cheese, so I get it. But it doesn't belong a lot of the time. Yeah. But corn is in fucking everything. Mm -hmm. Like, why? I guess it's cheap and plentiful. I guess. Or adds color and yeah. contrast. Yeah. But I've just never found corn to be good. Inside of corn in the cob. 
or, cor- or corn on the cob, but that's because it's like covered in butter yeah. or spices. Or a uh, uh, cream corn. Cream corn, cream corn can be pretty fucking good. Yeah. But like, yeah, just here, let's take corn off the cob and just like, here you go, a little bit of butter. It's like, meh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I preferred at that point the same ingredients on the cob. Save and quit. Yeah. I'm done. I, I don't know. Fuck you, Metroid Zelda. Yeah, I don't know what else we can do at this point. We are kind of it's, stuck. It's, it's dark rooms. We have to get through dark rooms. I know, and it's lame and stupid. Uh, yeah. We'll be right back with some Lost <laughs> Odyssey where we'll have more energy than this. Don't make promises we can't keep. I lie a lot. <laughs> <laughs>